I found a tabletop and a bookshelf in the garbage and I'm going to transform them into these two boxes which are going to form the parts of a concrete mold to form a concrete planter. The tabletop and the bookshelf that I pulled out of the trash make up most of these molds, but the bottom parts came from some hardboard or some HDF, something like that, that I just had laying around. So in the big outer mold I have this pipe which will help form a hole in the planter to let water drain out, and I have these little strips of wood taped down that which will um, hopefully create some uh, channels for water to flow out the sides. And the little box is going to go inside of the larger box just like that. And then I'll pour the concrete around the sides. And I'm using Quickcrete Pro Finish by Quickcrete. It's a Quickcrete product. I thought that because this one is fiber reinforced, whatever that means, that it would be stronger for a planter. And now I'm going to take my concrete in this tub and mix it with water until it reaches an oatmeal-like consistency. I wasn't sure how long this thing should cure, so now it's been about a week, which might be a little bit longer than what I needed. I pulled on the box in the middle end. It's not coming out on its own, so I think I'm going to have to take it apart with a hammer, saw, things like that. Now, taking out the inner box has been a lot of prying and whacking and hammering and, and stuff and I'm having trouble getting the bottom out. I think I'm just going to leave it in there. I busted a hole through so the water can drain out so I think it'll be fine. When I do this again I think I'm going to make the bottom of the inner mold uh, in little segments and tape them together like I did with the sides so that they're easier to pry out. <clears throat> I'd really like to save the outside so I could make a second one like this Hopefully they'll come off a lot easier.
so the inner box was really difficult to remove but by contrast the outside is coming off real easy ooh so easy uh, I did not get out all of the air bubbles but I kinda like how the surface looks with those little pock marks kinda looks like it's been through a war or something and now I have to get this bottom off which is gonna be another destructive process I think I'm gonna have to cut some little wooden wedges or something like that. Well, I didn't have to cut any wedges, but I found a couple pieces shaped kind of like this in my scrap bin. And they seem to be lifting, let me zoom in, they seem to be lifting it away from the bottom. So I think so far, so good. So now I have it up and it's on some rollers. So I should be able to move it off of the bottom of that outer mold. The rim of the planter is a little uneven and I'm okay with that. I just want to sand it down so I can get rid of the sharp edge and I'm going to try and get rid of these little bumps. There are some little bumps at each corner and I wish that when it was uh, still wet that I had gotten rid of those before it dried. Because right now me and my sanding block are not making much headway sanding down these little bumps. It's going to take a lot of work and a lot of sheets of coarse sandpaper. I think a belt sander would be a better option. I have the whole planter raised up on little two by fours. And this is the end of that little strip of wood I had. I'm going to see if I can knock it out. Pretty good. Oh, we got it out. Okay, now I'm just going to repeat that process three more times. I was able to get those little strips of wood out, but because I couldn't get the bottom of the inner mold out, this means that the PVC pipe is still in place. Which means that the, the drainage of the PVC pipe is not connected it's not connected to these little channels uh, made by those little strips of wood so I need to drill a hole in the PVC with this long bit not sure how long that is but it'll reach I think Just like that. And the last thing I did was I sealed it with three coats of this Seal Crete product, waterproofing primer and sealer. And I didn't film that because that's just me brushing on sealant. Who cares about that? So that's how I made my concrete planter. So thanks for watching. Bye.